emotion, the relationship he has in the lifetime, the lifestyle that he's living in. And when you say that the privacy means a person, uh, privacy means that not that not that you have something to hide, whether we have we have something to hide or not, it's whether it's the other thing that to decide whether you want to keep something private or public. As a human being, the politicians should give this chance to uh, to be able to decide whether they want to keep something of their own private or or not. And he keeps saying that we have to uh, we have to you have to give some like some information about the politician by the media. The only information we need about the politician is not their private life. It's about whether they have a great policy, uh, whether they have a good qualification or not. We should focus on these kind of things and not the personal weakness of the politician. The personal weakness has nothing to do with whether the politician has the ability to run the country or not. Since we're talking about the politician, we're talking about the higher politicians. And those, uh, those kind of rumors that the media post about the politician will destroy the reputation of the, the politician. And the politician, for example, I want to say some examples. For example, the American senator was, um, was, was forced to resign from his job because he posted inappropriate picture of himself. So this kind of rumors or this kind of post will destroy the reputation of the politician. And the media keep focusing on the personal weakness of the politician in that's our rights. And, and, and when the, when the politician, uh, politician decides to run the government or to run the country, he's offering a lot of things. He's offering the leadership skills. He's offering the education, the sacrifice. And he's not offering his personal life for the public. And this is all I thought. Thank you very much. Now it's also time for the second speaker of the affirmative.